So you have been thinking of moving to Guelph, Ontario? Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of Guelph, Ontario. We're gonna take a look at three different homes in three different price points. That's gonna be in around 750 to 800,000. We're gonna look at a house that sold close to a million dollars. And then finally, we're also gonna take a look at the house well over $1.2 million to give you guys a really good idea as to what each of those price points can get you right here in Guelph. So stick around as you get right into it. Hello and welcome. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about leaving, eating, playing, sleeping, working in Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo, Guelph and surrounding towns, then subscribe below and tap on the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Guelph, Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo and surrounding towns. My name is Tarmik Dixit. I'm a local real estate agent serving Cambridge, Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph and surrounding areas. I do get calls, texts, emails from people just like you pretty much every single day who are looking for help in making their move to Kitchener and surrounding towns and I absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking of moving in 9 days or 90 days, be sure to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or even schedule a Zoom call. All the info right below in the description. I'd be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo and surrounding towns. So right now I'm in the historic Guelph downtown area and this is definitely the place worth checking out. It's a lot of things happening here, but what you will see is a good mix of old and new. As you can see right behind me, like, you know, you'll see a lot of those old architecture that is preserved at the core of the city, while you'll find a good mix of some local boutique shops like hyper-local restaurants, hyper-local, uh, you know, places to hang out. There's actually a donut shop uh, called the Lady Glaze that's worth checking out and it is apparently a local favorite. If you're here and if you're a donut fan, well, definitely worth checking out. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm going to turn around and you can see lined up all the local boutique shops and lots of restaurants to hang out. They just hosted a golf jazz festival not too long ago, just a couple of weeks ago at the core of this downtown. So overall, a very happening place worth checking out. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is head back to my car first, drive around in this downtown area to show you guys a little bit about it. But then I'm going to see you at my first property, which is going to be around 800,000. So stick around. Let's get right after it. Okay, so we are at the first stop here and the house that I'm about to show you is the one that recently sold for $735,000. It's a corner lot, condo town home that you can see right behind me. The one on the corner is the one that actually sold recently about a month ago. And we are recording this as of September 2023 to give you some perspective of the market. But this is a three bedroom, three washroom. So it has two full washroom and it has a powder room on the main floor. You're looking at about 1,370 square feet of living space, which is pretty decent for a townhouse and for this price point as well. And it does have a unfinished basement, which you will always finish it up and you know add more living space. The house itself is actually built in the 2011. So, you know, pretty decent in terms of the age. Now, having said that, the neighborhood I'm in is the Court Right East. It's actually considered one of the prestigious sought after neighborhood on the east end border of Guelph. You're very close to the University of Guelph actually. And uh, you know, there's actually a lot of amenities within the close proximity of this neighborhood. Now you will find a good mix of this kind of homes into those first time home buyer price range. And you will find there are pockets in this neighborhood 
but you will find much larger homes situated on a far bigger lots, uh, you know, going well above 1.1, 1.5, like, you know, above the million, like seven figure range. So it's a good mix in terms of the real estate price points. But like I said, uh, the neighborhood overall does have several schools, both the elementary and the secondary schools within the boundaries of this neighborhood. You'll find a good mix of old and the newer construction, depending on what you're looking at. But uh, it's highly sought after on the east end of Guelph. Now, in terms of the commute, uh, you're looking at about 15 minute drive to get you to the Highway 401. You will be typically taking Highway 6 to get you from this neighborhood to the Highway 401, which will be about 15 minute drive. Uh, so if you have to commute to the Greater Toronto area, that's the commute you're looking at. But it's really not that bad, uh, the commute overall from Guelph to the Greater Toronto area. And that's actually one of the reasons why many families moving from the Greater Toronto area do pick Guelph over some of the other towns further away, such as Kitchener or Waterloo, because it's close proximity, I should say closer proximity to the Greater Toronto area and the Toronto. So that's a bit about this first price point. Now we know a little bit about what this price point can get you. You're either looking at something like this I mean, you would definitely have to be in that mid 700 price point to find something decent. But anything under six or 650, you're basically looking at uh, much older construction and smaller layouts and the neighborhoods won't be as good. So I would say Guelph is a bit pricier for the fact that it is actually closer to the Greater Toronto area. But uh, with that price points come some great layouts, some great homes and some great neighborhoods. So what I'm gonna do is jump back in my car, show you around this neighborhood and I'm gonna see you at my second stop and we're gonna look at a house that actually sold for a million dollar just about a week ago. So stick around, you don't wanna miss out, let's get right after it. Okay, so I'm at the second property and this is actually the one that recently sold, like I said, just about a week ago for $1 million, like $9.95 to be exact, just shy of a million dollars. But the one you see right behind me is the house that you're looking at. As you can see, it's a double wide garage, beautiful detached home located on around 3,500 square feet lot. So nothing too huge. But space wise, you are looking at a pretty decent space of close to 1,900 square feet. It does have four bedroom. You have two full washroom on the second level with an ensuite privilege. And then you have a powder room on the main floor. Beautiful spacious kitchen. And the basement is finished, which is giving you another close to 800 square feet of living space with another full washroom right in the basement. So, you know, you could turn into a rec room or an office space or even, you know, maybe an in-law suite, uh, possibly. So, but like I said, it's a beautiful home for this price point. Uh, of a million dollar that's what you can get here in Guelph from neighborhood standpoint we are still on the east end of Guelph we are in the Grange Road neighborhood and this is the neighborhood that kind of you know caught the attention of many out of nowhere so you know in this neighborhood if I were to look back there was a lot of construction built up to the point of 1970s not much after that and then came the 2000s and then since then this neighborhood has seen a lot of new developments so majority of the homes you will find in this neighborhood are going to be within that 20 to 25 years range in terms of the age and it has actually caught the attention especially in 2020 this was the neighborhood with the highest number of turnover in terms of the real estate activity in the entire Guelph so you know a good mix of townhomes, semis, and the detached is what attracts a lot of uh, younger families, first time home buyers to this neighborhood. The only downside you're looking at living in Grange Road is the fact that you are a bit further away from the Highway 401. So from this neighborhood 
If you were to commute to Highway 401, we'll be looking at about 25 to 30 minutes to get you to the 401. But like I said, there is, uh, you could always go from the back roads through Campbellville to get you to the Greater Toronto area. But like I said, overall, the neighborhood is a beautiful neighborhood. Most of the development since 2000, and a lot of homes you will see are those modern contemporary detached homes well, while you have a few semis and you have some townhomes as well. So the diversity and the depth of real estate in terms of the price point, whatever your budget may be, I can assure you, you will find decent options within the Grange Road neighborhood. So that's a bit about the neighborhood and that million dollar price point. Like I said, as you approach that seven figures, you are definitely aiming for your you know, two garage, uh, wider lots, uh, you know, deeper lots in terms of lot size and the living space close to 2,000 square feet. And you know, what I'm gonna do is a third stop is gonna be about 1.25. So like another jump from here where we are at in this price point to give you guys a good idea as to what that can buy you and how is that different from what you saw so far. So stick around, I'm gonna jump back in my car, show you around this beautiful neighborhood we are very close to some of the great amenities. Even the Guelph downtown is not too far. And like I said, everything you need on a day-to-day -day basis, you will definitely find right within the close proximity of this neighborhood. So stick around, let's head to the third property. I'll see you right there. Okay, we are at the final stop and the house that I'm about to show you is the one that recently sold for $1,238,000, just shy of $1.25 million. And this is the one that you see right behind me. It's a double garage detached, as you can see, located on close to 4,500 square feet of lot, which is pretty decent. And you have a bow ground living space of close to 2,200 square feet. So it does have four bedrooms above ground but you do have three full washrooms including the two on the second level so you do have actually a master bedroom with a soaker tub five-piece bath then you have one common washroom which is a four-piece bath and you have a powder room on the main floor but the best part is the basement offering additional close to thousand square feet of living space with a rec room one full washroom as well as the two bedrooms in the basement and it is a walkout basement which is pretty decent so overall, you're looking at well over 3,000 square feet of living space. The house itself does back onto the green space. You are basically falling onto the Grange Park at your backyard. And it does have a raised deck, which is perfect for entertaining families and friends over those uh, you know, perfect summer days. But that's a bit about this price point of $1.2 million and above. As you approach that 1.2 mark, you're definitely aiming yourself for a much better layouts, much more space, well over 2,000 square feet, and you know, the lot size close to 5,000 square feet in general. So that's a bit about it, but now we do have a decent understanding 
of both those price points of close to eight, close to a mil, and 1.25 can get you right here in Guelph. In some of the most sought after neighbors you can find in Guelph, Ontario. But hey, if you did get some value, give it a thumbs up, be sure to subscribe below and tap on the bell for notification so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Cambridge, Krishna, Waterloo and surrounding towns. What I'm gonna do is jump back in my car, show you around this neighborhood, show you some other homes so you get to see it up close and personal. But hey, whether you're thinking of moving in nine days or nine days, be sure to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, or even schedule a Zoom call. All the info right in the description below. I'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Cambridge, Krishna, Waterloo, and Guelph and surrounding towns. Until next time, well, I do hope to show you around town.